Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be acrylic painting for the first time in three years, which honestly I am very excited to do because while I haven't acrylic painted in like three years, uh, when I was getting into college, I just kept getting busier and busier and busier, and I just couldn't find the time to just sit down and do a painting. Uh, and, and, and that's pretty much why I haven't acrylic painted in, in about three years now. But I will admit it's been something I, I've been wanting to get back into, and it's something that I am very much looking forward to getting back into in today's video. And I'm just going to be painting a fish, I think. Just something very simple just to get back into it and everything like that kind of thing. Of course, I'm going to be painting it the entire size of this canvas, that is for sure. But uh, I am going to be painting a fish nonetheless. Uh, first off, though, what I need to do is go ahead and just do a base layer for the background and everything like that kind of thing. It's just going to be a very simple sort of light gray background, if I had to guess. And uh, I'm just going to be covering up. I had a, a separate idea for a painting I wanted to do uh, a couple months ago, but I, I never ended up doing the painting. And uh, I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm not really a big fan of the painting anymore. So as such, well, I'm gonna be covering this up with that base layer. Uh, but first off, what I think I need to do is go ahead and actually, well, draw the outline of the fish with my Sharpie Ultra Fine Point Marker first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just start on this side. I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of a mouth right there kind of thing. Just have it come all the way down. A little bit of a tail, just like that kind of thing. And then it's just gonna come all the way back up just like that there we go and i'm just going to put a little bit of an eye right there a little bit of an eye right there and then all of the other details can be figured out afterwards but that is the fish that i'm going to be drawing in today's video so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and put my marker on the table i have right next to me and i'm going to go ahead and actually pour out some paint i just bought some really cheap uh creative inspiration acrylic cr color titanium white paint and everything like that kind of thing and i also bought some uh lamp black uh paint uh, from the same brand and everything like that. This is like the cheapest paint I could find. Uh, I do know one thing though, since I last painted, paint has gotten a decent amount more expensive. So I am definitely trying to maintain cheapness during this video, that is for sure. I'm just gonna pour out a bunch of white, I think, and then just a little bit of black, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it all together, just a little bit. I don't wanna have it be too mixed. I don't like mixing my paint too well just for style, but uh, I think that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. So I'm just gonna add Oh man, if the black actually wants to come out, I did get rid of the uh, little foil. Well, I didn't get rid of the foil entirely. Ha! Oh, you really don't want to come out. Is there something in the way? Just uh, see if there's something in the way or something like that kind of thing. Oh, there's a there's a thing right here blocking off the lid wow that's that's really helpful why'd they do that why'd they do that that is so that is so helpful there we go there we go all right i got it all out now now i can actually go ahead and start painting i did not get the foil all out but i don't really care to i didn't want to get my i didn't want to get a bunch of uh paint on my hands before this video that is for sure especially since i'm wearing clothes i like quite a bit probably not such a good idea to be painting clothes i, I really like but there we go. Just a little bit of black, just like that kind of thing. You need a lot more white than you need black, that is for sure. And there we go. I'm just going to go ahead and mix this all together now with the brush that I'm going to be using to do the background layer and everything like that. So I'm just going to mix it together just a little bit, just like that, you know what I'm saying? And I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm just going to, I'm not even going to wet the brush or anything like that. I'm just going to go ahead and get to doing the background just like this, you know what I'm saying? Just, I'm just going to go ahead and do a nice, somewhat dark uh, color for the background. I don't really care about it being super consistent or anything like that kind of thing i just want it to work i am probably going to be covering up some of the lines sometimes just to, just to, uh, by accident but that's perfectly fine and as i said i don't really care about it being super consistent or anything like that kind of thing like obviously in this area over here it is indeed very thick i don't really care about it being thick all the way not really a personal concern of mine and i will admit another issue is that i bought this uh, i might i might lower this Oh man, my nose is running, y'all. I cannot believe this. Is that I bought this uh, easel thinking it was going to, <laughs> thinking it was going to fit my height. It does not fit my height. Let me just put it that way. It is a little bit too short. Not too big a deal. It's a twenty dollar easel though, so I'm, it's not like I'm losing a lot of money or anything like that kind of thing. But still, definitely mildly annoying. That is for sure. But I'm just going to go ahead and continue doing it like that. I've still got a bunch of paint on my, on my whoopsies. I accidentally covered up the tail a little bit. That's okay though. 
and I've got a bunch of paint on my brush. I'm just going to keep going over just like that, and I'm actually going to lower this just to keep it a little bit more stable. Eh, did that keep it a little bit more stable? Not really, but I'm just going to go ahead and just continue going over just like this kind of thing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. No big issues or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and just grab a little bit more, and let's go ahead and just start on the bottom as well. So I'm just going to start down here and just continue painting, you know what I'm saying? Just like that, just like that. Don't care about getting paint on my easel. It's a $20 easel. I don't care about it at all. And honestly, now having used it for the first time, I may be buying a different easel in the future uh, just because, well, this one definitely is not doing the greatest job in the world. Let me go and just grab some more paint. I may have to mix up some more in a little bit. I am being very globby. And one thing I completely forgot is that this is not a marker. I cannot just go... Uh, I'm trying to keep the background one flat color and everything like that kind of thing, and I cannot uh, make, make strokes in different in uh, different um, directions and everything like that. I'm trying to keep all the strokes in the same direction, and I keep forgetting that that's something that matters well, a lot with painting. Uh, so I'm trying to just make sure I keep it just the same all the way through and everything like that kind of thing. And honestly, I might just do the fish in, uh, in this sort of gray as well. I ain't gonna lie, and I might go ahead and add some more white to this gray or actually i don't think i will i think i'll uh, make the fish a lighter gray um, once i'm done doing the background and everything like that kind of thing so if i run over the lines a little bit it's okay i'm just going to go back over it in a lighter gray that is perfectly fine but overall certainly no complaints on my behalf it is a little bit chilly out here today but it is a very good day to be painting outside nonetheless that is for sure and i'm once again just uh met i'm once again making my lines go sideways a little bit it is, it, it is what it is, that is for sure. And I'm just gonna go and grab some more paint. Just glob it all on there. I definitely did not mix up enough, but that's okay. As, uh, as you guys can tell, it's been a while since I've last painted, but hey, it is what it is. There we go, let's just go ahead. I'm just gonna go and grab a bunch of paint off the side, just like that. And just go ahead and continue. I'm not really looking for anything super thick or anything like that kind of thing, but I do want it to be more thick than not just so it matches in like this sort of like really not thick right here. Definitely not a fan of that. I'm just kind of like, I don't really care if it's like super thick or anything like that. I just definitely want it to be more thick than not. Uh, just simply because I want it to all kind of match up and line up just a little bit. I do like though when there's thick mixed with not thick, just simply because it's a stylization thing for me. I don't really care about my backgrounds being super flat or anything like that. And I definitely think having it not be thick all the way through definitely does help a lot with that stylization. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm just going to go ahead and just keep going through just like that. There we go. All right, perfect, and I think I'm just going to leave the mouth like that kind of thing. It is perfectly fine, and I think I might have to go ahead and mix up some more paint in just a moment. That's okay, though. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so I just need a bunch of white paint. So let's go ahead and grab my white paint just like that and let's go ahead and grab a little bit of black as well just mix it up see if I can make it the same color although I'm fully assuming oh I think I might be making it a little bit more dark but worst case scenario I can always add a little bit more white but you know what they say you want more uh you want more white than you want black that is for sure because black takes the takes takes your painting over oh my goodness but uh, honestly the color is about the same no complaints on my behalf all right Got it all globbed on. Let's go ahead and just do start doing this side as well. Definitely maybe a little bit darker, but I don't really care. And there we go. So let's just keep the strokes. And I think that side is just about done. I've just got to go ahead and go through here as well. There we go. Just like that. I definitely should have picked a little bit of a better brush or a bigger brush for this, but hey, it is what it is. I'm not particularly concerned by it. And I'm just going to go ahead and just do that and I do kind of like my paint to be a little bit thick I will admit so this is certainly not the neatest thing in the world but also I don't really care because I like my paint being thick so let's just go ahead and just continue doing that just go ahead I'm just gonna go ahead and just scrape off a bunch of that paint from the side and just there we go perfect perfect and let's just get, keep going down like this kind of thing There we go. Grab a little bit more paint, just like that. And just keep going all the way down, just like that. There we 
go, there we go. All right, and there's the tail done. So let's just go ahead and just do a little bit of a line right there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just have this going all the way off like that. Just try to make sure it's a little bit even at least kind of thing, even though I don't really care. So let's just have that going like that kind of thing. Perfect, perfect. This is definitely not shaping up to be exactly how I wanted it to be, but it's my, it's my first time acrylic painting in uh, well, quite a, quite a long time. So I'm not really particularly concerned by it. This is just kind of something to get myself back into acrylic painting to see if I really remember it uh, being as good as I remember it being and everything like that kind of thing. Acrylic painting can be very frustrating, that is for sure, but it's also a lot of fun at the same time, as long as I am remembering correctly. And I'm really trying desperately not to get my sleeve in the paint. I really like this hoodie and I should have worn some clothes I don't care as much about, but I did not do that. All right, there we go. All done with that. There we go, perfect, perfect. So I've got the tail outline all done. I've got the mouth pretty much all done as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing the bottom down here, almost done with the background. So let's just go ahead and just continue going over. I am painting right on the easel, but I do not care. And there we go, perfect, all done. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and cover this side as well. Just go ahead and do the bottom of this as well. There we go. Just like that. Just get it all done. Don't gotta be neat, just gotta get it done. Because it's just the background. I don't care about the background being neat or anything like that kind of thing. I just want it done. Lob it all on, lob it all on. <laughs> Do not care. And I'm pretty sure that's just about good. I'm just gonna go and just add a little bit more to the bottom right here, and that's that's perfectly fine as it is, just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this up right here, and then I'm just gonna add some finishing touches to the top, and this area right here, I think I'll actually do first because I just saw it and I forgot that I need to do this area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this area right here first. Just like that. Oh, I might be getting a little bit of paint on the house I live at, but I'm gonna take my rag and try to scrape that off as best as I can. Uh, it didn't come off. Okay, it's okay. It's not a big deal. I can just, I can get that off later. It's okay. It's just acrylic paint. It is what it is. It's probably not washable, but it, it's fine. It'll come off eventually. So let's just go ahead and just finish this up right here. I'm just going to add some nice neat, some just nice neatness to this and everything like that kind of thing. That's pretty much my goal with this area up here. And there we go. And let's go ahead and do the tail area now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just start right here and just go all the way across, just like that. We'll admit this easel is doing no favors for my back, but that is okay. Because I'm gonna buy another easel in the future. <laughs> this easel sucks. This easel really does suck. It is not good. Let me know, of course, if you guys have any tips or, or uh, constructive criticism or anything like that in the comments down below. I am uh, always willing to listen to some current constructive criticism. I am by no means uh, the greatest artist in the world, and I certainly don't want to portray myself to be, that is for sure. So if you guys have any tips or anything like that for uh, this acrylic painting so far, please, of course, let me know in the comments down below. I am more than willing to look at the constructive criticism, and uh, if I can learn something from y'all, I would certainly love to, that is for sure. I'm just gonna go ahead and just toughen these lines up a little bit. There we go, a little bit better. And there we go, okay. And that's pretty much all done. So now I've just gotta neaten this up a little bit. I'm gonna do some stuff around here as well, I think. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this one, that area first. And I should, I think, have enough paint for all of this. Hopefully, I hope so. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, 
there we go, yeah. We're not out enough paint. All that. I think I might go through it one more time and just make it a little bit thicker, but hey, it is what it is. I've got this globbing. This, this stuff is globbing. There's acrylic paint after all. It, it does tend to glob quite a bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and just go over it like that. And just go down like that as well. And some of y'all might be wondering why I'm not, and I want to also make those lines a little bit neater as well. And some of y'all might be wondering why I'm really not particularly worried about covering up all this lines right here. And that's because I'm gonna be going over very, very, very thickly with a bunch of black. So I don't really care if the gray comes through a little bit. And either way, it's just a stylization thing. I don't really care about having a super neat painting by any means. And I, ah, I did it again. I'm treating the paint. I'm treating the, um, what's it called? I'm treating the paintbrush like a pen. I can't do that. It's not a pen. I can't treat it like a pen. The lines don't line up now. That is annoying. I'm going to try to make them line up as best as I can, though, and just try to finish this off a little bit. There we go. My neighbor's dogs are playing on their front porch or on their back porch. All right. And let's just go ahead and see if I can fill in some of those lines. And I'm just gonna, I've got some other area over there that I think I might want to fill in like this. There we go. I think this sort of brownish pigment, I didn't, I did not wash these plates before I started painting. So I think that might be where that's coming from. But uh, yeah, so far so good. I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out so far. So I think next up, I'm gonna go ahead and do the inside of the uh, fish, and I'm gonna be doing a lighter gray color. So I'm just gonna be adding a bunch of white to the gray I already have. And uh, going from there, that's gonna be the plan at least. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, put a bunch of white down. That should be enough. And just mix it all in and just see how that comes out. Yeah, and I'm not gonna even, I'm, not, I'm tempted to add some black, but I'm not going to, and I think I might need to add some. Uh, just because it's not quite dark enough yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some black real quick. Just a tiny bit though. That should be enough. And you know what they say, little tiny bits of black, little, little tiny bits of black paint. You don't wanna mess with too much black paint. That is for sure. You don't want too much. Just add black paint very much in moderation. And there we go, that should be uh, very, very nice. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. That should be just about the perfect color. And I've got it all globbed on my paintbrush right here. Let's just go ahead and start painting now. And yeah, that's just a little bit lighter. That was pretty much the goal. I just wanted to be a little bit lighter. And so let's just go ahead and start going up like this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just try to make my lines as perfectly straight as possible. That is something I have not been doing very well in today's video, but I'm trying to get better about it. I'm trying to I'm so used to just drawing that I, I keep forgetting that I want my lines to all be nice and straight and everything like that kind of thing. Um, and I just keep forgetting to do that, but I'm gonna try to be remembering to do that in today's video. And it's doing a good job of covering up all the uh, pencil lines and some of the Sharpie lines as well, which is really one of the main reasons why I actually care to do a background on this painting. In all honesty, uh, I don't really care to do uh, backgrounds really all that much, but I do want to make sure that I have a background uh, just to cover up all the uh, the drawing that came before this. Let me just put it that way. There we go, there we go. And I'm not being particularly uh, careful with this either. I just want a background. And I'm the, basically the uh, the line that I'm going in with this afterwards, which is just going to be a pure black line, is what is really going to uh, make a difference that is for sure. Right, so let's just go ahead and start going down here as well and I've gotten a little bit better at uh, making sure that my lines are straight and everything like that kind of thing. There we go. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure. Let's just keep going over. Just like that. Let's 
go. Just glob a bunch more paint and then go ahead and start doing the tail once I reach it. Oh, my knees. I've been putting my leg on the ground and it's starting to hurt. Oh, that makes sense. Go ahead and just do up here as well. Oh, that's a little bit darker, but hey, that's okay. That's okay. I don't mind having some dark streaks in, uh, in my fish, that's for sure. Just add some personality. I'm not particularly worried about it. Let's just go up here. I'm just going to go ahead and start doing the top of the fish, actually. I know I said I was going to do the tail, but I think I'm going to do the top of the fish first. So let's just go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to go do the front of the fish as well. Just like that. I hope all I hope all y'all can see what I'm doing uh, okay and everything like that kind of thing. I'm, I'm not exactly sure how this camera angle is working out, but I hope it's working out pretty well. And this is my first time doing a video like this. So I definitely do want to do some more videos like this in the future, though. That is for sure. I am very much enjoying doing this right now. It's a lot of fun. Just keep going over like that. Ow, I'm treating it like a pen again. Fuck, God damn it. I can't treat it like a pen. I'm treating my paintbrush like a, like a goddamn pen. All right, a little bit more of a glob. Let's not treat my paintbrush like a pen, because it's not one. I'm just going to go ahead and do one right there. And just go ahead and continue going over. Just like that. And then I need to think about as well whether I want to do the teeth. I didn't think about whether I wanted to do the teeth because, of course, the fish is going to have teeth. But I, I didn't really think about that. But honestly, I'm just going to stand back for a minute. I am actually very happy with how this is coming along so far. Wow, I haven't actually just stood back and looked at this painting yet. And honestly, I am really, really, really happy with how this is coming along so far. Wow, sweet. I am actually really damn happy with this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I am very much, very happy with how this painting is coming along. Certainly no complaints might be happening. I'm just going to make sure my phone is still recording. It is. Thankfully, it would suck if I, if I lost half this video because my phone stopped recording and I didn't notice. That would certainly not be fun. But so far, so good. I'm glad I just stood back and just took a look at how this painting was coming because, in, in my opinion, it is coming along great. And I'm just going to go ahead and make myself some more of this color as well. So I'm going to give myself a bunch more white. I don't know if I really needed that much, but hey, whatever. I don't really care. Just a little, little bit of black. There we go. Let's just go ahead and mix this all together. And it's about the same color. Cool, cool. Don't really care if the colors match perfectly, but it is what it is. And I think I might just add a little bit more. There we go. Just like that. Don't need too much, but I don't want that. I don't want too, too much black, that's for sure. And I'm just gonna try to get some of that paint off. And just go ahead and continue down here. That might be a little bit lighter, but it's okay. I don't really care. Doesn't really matter to me whether the colors line up quite perfectly or not, in all honesty. So let's just go ahead and continue like this. And I am noticing these brown splotches. And these brown splotches are annoying me a little bit. I actually don't really want the brown. I'm like, I don't really care too much. I say I don't care, but I care. Um, they're annoying me a little bit, but in all honesty, it's really not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, my main goal with this uh, painting, in all honesty, is just to be able to, where, where it's instantly recognizable from a distance kind of thing. I don't want this painting to be something that has to be admired, close up kind of thing. I want this painting to be recognizable from a distance. That's really my main goal with this painting. It, it pisses me off when, I mean, like, it's it's like you look at photos of the damn Mona Lisa, and it's like, oh, that's pretty cool kind of thing. It's got to be a pretty big painting. No, it's like this big kind of thing. It's tiny. You have to admire it close up. You can't look at it from a distance, and it really pisses me off. In my personal opinion, paintings deserve to be bigger, and I hate to say it, I fucking don't like Pablo Picasso. I am not a fan of his. I think he's done some good art. Don't get me wrong. I hate him as a person, though. Um, and... 
that, that is one thing he he did pretty well. I got to give him credit. He, he did that pretty well. He did a bunch of massive art, and I really do think he did that very well. Um, but it, it's something that pisses me off. I'm like, why the fuck did it have to be Pablo Picasso that did this shit kind of thing? I hate, I hate him so much. He is such a fucking douche. I swear to God. Same with Andy Warhol. I fucking hate Andy Warhol, bro. Both of them are just douches. There we go, though. It's coming along pretty well. Pretty happy with it so far. That's the top of the fish done, I want to say. So let's just go ahead and start doing this portion, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the tail, I think. And I will admit, I keep saying I don't want to use my, um, my brush like a pen, but I will be using my brush like a pen when I'm doing the outline of this fish in black and when I'm doing all of the details on the inside, because once I'm... I've, and I've also got to remember, I've actually got to let this dry, too. Um, I, I'm, I'm very impatient when it comes to painting. That's one of my things. Uh, I'm not the most patient person in the world, so I've got to remember to let this dry um, so I, I don't accidentally have it bleeding all over the place. Because while I don't really care about it bleeding into the, about like this color bleeding and everything like that kind of thing, I do care about the actual black that I want to do the outline in uh, bleeding all over the place. I definitely do not want that happening. Um, that would not be very constructive, that is for sure. And let's go ahead and just start doing the tail now. So I'm just going to... Uh, I'm gonna think I'm gonna start at the top. Just go down like this kind of thing. I can always do a second layer if I need to. Yeah, I'm gonna need to do a second layer. Just like that. And honestly, I kind of want to make the uh, tail a little bit bigger as well. I'm just gonna start at the bottom as well. And honestly, I kind of want to make it a little bit thicker. So let's just do that. And I think that, yeah, the back of the tail is just going to be darker just simply because of the uh, darker background color, but I don't really care in all honesty. I just want it to look, uh, look how I want it to look, and it's not looking how I want it to look right now. My main goal with this is just to be able to make sure that um, I, I get the point that I want to get across across. Well, not really the point. My art has no meaning. Um, it's just art to be art. But um, I kind of just want to paint what I want to paint kind of thing, and I want to do it in the way I want to do it, and I don't really care about the colors involved. Let me just put it that way. There we go, just like that. And let's just go ahead and start adding some more, just like that kind of thing. And the sun is coming out a little bit. I think I have about an hour more of sunlight, so hopefully it doesn't get too dark before the end of the video. So let's see, just like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and just have it come all the way down like that kind of thing and it's already like that at the top and I'm just gonna actually have it coming down a bit more just like that there we go all right perfect 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 there we go and I'm just gonna go ahead and just straighten some of these lines up make it look a little bit better don't really care too much but I do care and I'm just gonna go through for a second layer for some of this All right, there we go, cool, cool. Uh, I think that's just about all I wanted to do. I think I want to do the teeth as well, and I'm seeing some parts where I need to clean up right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the teeth. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and just start doing the teeth in gray as well. So I'm just gonna start off this, just like that. Perfect, perfect.
Hey, there's a bug in my paint. Oh. I put the bug on my paintbrush. The bug is now officially going to be a part of my painting. Just like that. And do I want to do one more? No. I'm just going to make this look a little bit more angular, I think. Just like that. And there we go. Okay, cool. That is all done now. Teeth are all done. And now all I have to do is wait for it to dry. And it's not quite, I think I want to do this. It's not quite looking exactly how I want it to look. So I'm just going to fix it just like that. The teeth definitely messed up my perception of this drawing a little bit. I didn't really plan for the teeth, but I do want there to be teeth. And it just feels like that tooth is kind of just hanging off. But honestly, I kind of like the look of it. So I'll just leave it like that. And... I'm thinking now I just need to let it dry. So I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to go take a little bit of a piss break. And I'm just going to cut back to when I am back. I'm just going to go ahead and just take that and just brush all that off right now. And I'm going to go take a little bit of a piss break. Just let it dry and everything like that kind of thing. And I'm going to leave the video recording. And uh, just have it cut back to uh, when I get back. See y'all. What's up? All right, yeah, I'm getting back to it. Uh, I, I was thinking when I was uh, taking a piss that I actually want these to be like this kind of thing. I want it to be straight across. I want all the lines to be the same. So as such, I'm gonna go through and just try to fix it the best I can. I know I kind of just made that mistake and there's really nothing I can do about that now, but I do kind of want to just fix that. And I'm also just gonna bring this out a little bit as well. So, uh, yeah, I made a mistake, and I want to fix it now. I did not just go straight across with these lines, and I definitely just want the uh, lines of these to just line up with all of the other lines kind of thing. I want it all to match, except for the black lines, which I don't care about. Like, the black lines are just fine, but I haven't added those yet because I'm waiting for the rest of it to dry. But I, I want all of these to line up and everything like that kind of thing. So, let's go ahead and just continue going across and just fix these teeth. Just, uh, they're already on there. I just want to uh, fix the uh, shape of the lines, I do suppose, the right way of putting it. Wow, it is getting a little bit dim. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. And let's just go ahead, just like that, and go ahead and do the same right here. Nice. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Very happy with that so far. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm thinking now I just gotta wait for it to dry, and then I will pretty much uh, just have to, what will I have to do then? I'll have to add the black uh, outline going all the way around it, and then I'll pretty much be done with the painting. And I'll honestly, once I add all of the little details and everything like that, how is this drying? Uh, it's, it's a little bit tacky, but it's pretty much all good. I'm gonna go ahead and just wash my paintbrush real quick. The first time I've washed my paintbrush in this video. I'm just gonna go and do that. Wow. Oh, wow. That looks like milk. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Here it looks like something else. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what it looks like, though. So let's just go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, take this rag and just uh, use and abuse this rag right here. And just go ahead and just wash it off again. I, I brought two brushes out with me today, but I don't think I'm going to be using the second one in all honesty. I'm going to go ahead and fold over my rag and just wipe this off once again. All right, cool, cool. That is all good. And yeah, the, the bristles were definitely white when I started this. So I think it's all good, all clean now and everything like that. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and go like that. And I know, really, I'm not treating this brush the best, but I don't really care either, because it's a, uh, I want to say it's like a, a, like a dollar brush or something like that. I bought like a, a, a bargain pack or something like that kind of thing. I think all of the lines over here should probably be done. I really do feel like I want to make one more line going through, but I honestly really don't care as well. Like, I kind of want to, and I kind of don't. Um, I think I'm probably not going to just because uh, I don't really, I don't really care to do it in all honesty. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and pour myself out some black on, uh, this other plate I have right here where my little, uh, little black cap is that was high, that was hiding from me. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour out some black and go ahead and start doing that line. Hopefully 
I don't have too any too too many issues that is for sure so I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing the black line going all the way around just like this there we go and yeah it definitely is uh, leading a little bit but hey it is what it is I've already committed so I can't really do anything about that I can always go back over a second time if I want to I am really glad I made the tail a little bit thicker. I ain't gonna lie. And yeah, I'm thinking I might go over the black lines just a, a second time as well, uh, just to make them look a little bit better. But yeah, y'all see what I mean when I when I say it doesn't really matter too much because the black line's so thick it doesn't really uh, it doesn't really matter all that much. Let me go ahead and do the lines down here, just like that. And yeah, now it's definitely shaping up to look a lot more like one of my uh, typical drawings, that is for sure. But uh, instead of being uh, small on like a, uh, what, what, is the sh what is the size of paper I usually use? I think the size of paper I usually use is like, uh, I want to say, not 9 by 11. I want to say it's like 6 by 9. Um, and so yeah, this is definitely a little bit bigger than, <laughs> than the typical 6 by 9 drawings I do. Uh, but that's kind of the point. That's why I like painting, because it's just bigger and uh, bolder and... Uh, more eye catching in my person in the drawing and that is why i like draw I, that's why i like uh, painting so much i just uh, don't get the chance to do it all that often let's just go ahead get myself some more black and go ahead and just continue along just go ahead and thicken that line up make it a little bit darker and i'm gonna definitely have to uh be a little bit careful when i'm going over the teeth there we go and the teeth are definitely still wet so i'm just gonna let that Go, let that I'm just gonna wait for a little bit to really handle those I'm just gonna go and handle this portion over here first I think just like that and yeah the teeth are definitely still a little bit wet so I'm just gonna go ahead and just go over some of the parts of the line just a second time just to uh, make it a little bit darker there we go Perfect, perfect. And I'm just gonna stand back for a minute and take a look. Yeah, I'm overall pretty happy with how this is coming along, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, no complaints on my behalf. Do I think I'd be happier with it if I was just going over with one line? Honestly, I kinda wanna just maintain the same brush. I kinda just wanna do that all the way across. How does this look? How do I like it? I'm just experimenting right now. Honestly, I low-key kinda like that a little bit more. I think I might just stick with that. So I'm actually just gonna go all the way over this and just make it where it's all straight across kind of thing just give it a little bit more of a um of a uh, tactile look maybe i'm not sure and i'm just gonna go over these lines a, a little bit a little bit more just to darken them up a little bit there we go much better get some more black on my brush yeah, honestly, the whole maintaining the brush going the same way the whole time, honestly, I am really a lot more happy with that uh, than how I was with just, oh, up, down, up, down kind of thing. I'm honestly liking this look a lot more. Yeah, no, honestly, it just gives it so much more personality, in my personal opinion, and I really am just much happier with it, especially with the look of the background and the inside. It just matches much better as well kind of thing. So, yeah, I'm glad I'm sticking with this sort of look. And it gives it kind of a faded look as well kind of thing. Maybe not a faded look, but maybe sort of like a moving look or something like that, which I honestly do like quite a bit. And more of a more of a messy, sloppy look, which which I, I will admit, I don't like my stuff to be uh, sloppy. 
uh, but I do like to make it look sloppy kind of thing. I, I try not to be super sloppy with my art, but uh, making my art look sloppy I have no qualms with. And it's honestly something I do not mind doing at all. There we go. I'm gonna go and add some more black to this as well. Make sure my uh, phone is actually still recording because I can't take a look. Yep, it's still going. It's still going, sweet, sweet. I always get worried whenever I can't see my screen. I'm like, is my phone still going or not? I want to make sure it's still going. Oh, yeah, 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 we get it. You can't go around everybody else. The neighborhood's tight, whatever. Getting pissed, honking at people, interrupting my video. I can't, can, can y'all believe this shit? Come on. I can't believe it. No, I can totally believe it. I'd be honking at people too. I'm like, get out of my way, bro. Figure it out. Are you going to the left or are you going to the right? I don't know where you're going, my man. Do we live in England? No. Then don't go to the right. Stay on your side of the road, the left side. Well, I guess that's their right, but my left. Oh. Yeah, I'm much happy. I'm much happier with how this is turning out now that I'm kind of making it just look a little bit more sloppy, if I had to say. Oh, excuse me. And of course, I'm going to be doing all the details like this as well. There we go. Just like that. And there's a little leaf stuck to my painting. Grab that, throw it off, and there we go. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna stand back for a minute. I am pretty happy with how this is turning out so far. Yeah, no complaints for me, that is for sure. Yeah, I'm overall very happy with how this is turning out. I like how it's a little bit darker right here, and it kind of lightened up when I ran out of the paint and everything like that kind of thing, but it gives it a very nice, not super flat look that I honestly am liking a lot. And it is getting chilly out here. It's like, there's a high of like 58 today. And I started recording this and it was like right, it was right when the high uh, was going. And, and now the sun's setting and we have about uh, 40 minutes of sunlight, I want to say, left. And it's definitely getting very chilly very quickly. Uh, that is for sure. So I'm going to put my hood on. I'm glad I have my beanie on. That is for shit. That is for sure. I'm going to go ahead and start adding the details, I think. I think I'm going to go ahead and just add a fit. Oh, this is still looking a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's still, that's still a little bit. That's still a little bit. So I'm just going to leave that for the moment. I'm not going to do the fins yet. I'm going to let that be. And now I've got... I'm going to be covering that up with the fins because eh, it doesn't look good. Uh, but it is what it is. And so I think I'm just going to go ahead and do the eye real quick. Or the eyes because I think that should be all ready to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and do just the outline of an eye right here. There we go. I think I might need some more black again. Just like that. Just go ahead and just do it just like that kind of thing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. No complaints from me. Just want to make it look a little bit more circular, I definitely have to say. It's kind of looking like a Minecraft uh, block right now. Yeah, good enough. All right, cool, cool. And uh, I'll go ahead and do a little bit of an eye right here as well. Hold it from the back just so it doesn't wiggle around so much. There we go. All right, there's two eyes done, and both of them are like that. I don't think I'm gonna add any other details. I'm not gonna add any pupils or anything like that. I don't really do pupils with my characters or my fish or anything like that typically, so I'm not gonna do that with these. And I'm gonna go ahead and start adding that. Still looks pretty wet, but I'm gonna start uh, just doing the uh, jaw now. I can always go back over if I need to. Just like that, there we go. And let's just go ahead and continue painting. Need some more paint. Bob Ross up in this bitch. 
R.I.P. Bob Ross, by the way. Legend. Oh, oh. I'm thinking maybe with the eyes I should have done it with my smaller brush, but hey, whatever. I'm not partic really particularly worried about it. And there we go. And I'm just going to go over this a little bit with some darker black. Some Vanta black. I can't actually say that. Uh, it's uh, copyrighted, so they might sue me now. Uh, what am I thinking next? I'm thinking there's not really going to be any details up here or anything like that kind of thing. I'm going to go ahead and start adding the fins. Just like that. There's one done. Let's go ahead and add another. I did definitely kind of want the fins to be a little bit bigger, but it's uh, too late now, is what it is. And do I want to add one more fin? I kind of want this one to be a little bit more pointy as well. Make it more pointy. Just like that. Ooh, there we go, there we go. Perfect, perfect. All right, sweet. And I'm thinking I want to add one more fin, probably right here i'm gonna make it be a very small fin but i want one more fin nonetheless all right there we go three fins the eyes are done and now i've just got to do the outline for the teeth and then i think i will be all done i want to say I kind of wish I had done the fins a little bit differently in all honesty, but I mean, like, hey, it is what it is kind of thing. No complaints on my behalf. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the outlines for the teeth now. I'm gonna try not to pour out any extra black paint because I don't feel like wasting it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just start doing it. This. Oh. My nose is really getting runny. Said I wasn't going to try to probably do any more, but I need a little bit more. This one now. I honestly don't really have too much to say about this at the moment because I'm honestly kind of trying concentrating a little bit hard right now really focusing on where I want my brush to go because uh, I, I want to make sure I get the teeth perfect really how I want them and everything like that kind of thing Legs are starting to hurt. Okay, though. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of wanting to do one more fin or something like that kind of thing. Just one extra little detail, uh, but I'm not exactly sure 
how I want to do that. But uh, right off the bat, I am very happy with this. I'm definitely very happy with this right now. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I am kind of wanting to add like some lines going around the fish or something like that just for extra detail. So maybe I'll try to make this darker black, but then do it just a little bit darker and just have some lines going around or something like that kind of thing. Or just some like uh, splotches uh, around and stuff like that kind of thing, just to add a little bit of extra detail. That is definitely something I do want to do just to make it look a little bit more interesting. Uh, and I definitely do want to thicken up some of the teeth lines as well or just make them more black because they're not super super black right now uh, so I definitely do want to do that as well all right sweet Alrighty, huh. I am happy with this, but I'm also feeling like it needs more. And that really is something I always feel a lot with a lot of my drawings. I feel like it needs more, in all honesty, and I'm definitely feeling the same way with this. And I will also admit I could definitely go for a cigarette right now. I might have one of those, honestly, and just kind of think about it. But uh, I left them all upstairs, so maybe I, maybe I won't, actually. Um, huh. I am wanting to smoke right now, just to kind of think about what I want to do with this, and just kind of wake myself up a little bit but I think what I might do is uh, I'm just gonna stand back for a minute and just take a look let's see so anything else I want to do with this hmm I'm definitely feeling like I want to add kind of maybe not one more fin I just kind of want to add some oh I know what I want to do I know what I want to do ooh, 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 ooh. I figured it out I figured it out. So I get some black. Add some lines going around the fish. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Ooh, da, 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 I'm so happy I figured out what I want to do. Uh, one line right there. Let's go add a line up here. No complaints from me. Y'all better let me into art school. I don't know what happens when people don't get into art school. Not that's a. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have made that joke. In all honesty, not that I want to go to art school. I can learn how to do art on my own. There are plenty of YouTube tutorials these days. That is for sure. Oof. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead. Another line right here. Like that, there we go, there we go. It's all the way down. I think I'm gonna add one more line right there. Just like that. Ah, oh, perfect. Sweet. I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out now. Yeah, I can't complain. All right, I definitely do still want to do those kind of like dark splotches that I mentioned though. Um, and I still want to add something to kind of like the, the actual fish itself. I kind of feel like it's lacking detail per se. Uh, and I kind of want to add one more fin. Maybe I'll try adding one more fin. I don't know. I kind of like having the fins be at the back of the fish, not at the front, but... Maybe I'll try adding one more fin anyway. And I do kind of wish I'd made the fins just a little bit more wide, like kind of like going like that kind of thing, but I didn't, it is what it is, it's too late now. Oof, let's see what I wanna do though. I'm done with pretty much everything I need to do. I'm just adding the finishing touches now pretty much. Oh man, how long is the video so far? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Well, I am certainly pretty happy with how this is coming along and I certainly hope you all like the painting as well, that is for sure. No complaints from me. And what am I thinking? 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 Hmm. Hmm. Could have him having a smoke. I don't think I want to do that though. I think I'm all set on that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add one more fin. 
I just want more detail. So I'm going to do that. I'm not so happy with this fan. Oh man. There we go. A little bit. It's a little bit better. Yeah, definitely. I will admit though, I'm definitely not used to using paintbrush. Oh, I'm really not. <laughs> I'm really not happy with that, y'all. I'm really not happy with that. I ain't gonna lie. I am really not happy with that. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I hate that. Oh man, I've just made a massive mistake. I really don't like that. That is hideous. That's disgusting. I should have just left it as is, but I felt like I needed something. That's horrible. That is that is absolutely terrible and I hate it. Can I turn that into anything and make it salvageable? Mm, I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything. Uh, so what I'm gonna do real quick while it's still wet is go ahead and add a bunch of white to it and just make it where it's kind of like a, a splotch or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just scrape all of the black off of my brush and go ahead and just wipe it down real quick. There we go. Go like that, wipe, wipe it down again. Just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just try to salvage this in any way I can. More white, more white. Give me all the white. More white. More white. Just scoop it on there. Now he's look like and looking like he's got like a tumor or something. I don't know. I'm feeling like I'm just making it worse, but I made a mistake and I really want to fix it. Oh man, I'm not so happy with how this is turning out right now. Maybe I should just let it dry and then fix it. I know it's gonna be a little bit till it's dry though. Get some more white. Scrape that all away from there. And just sort of start blending it in with the background. Damn it. Damn black. Get off of the brush. I want the white. And just start trying to blend it in, essentially. That is the goal. might go through that again and just go ahead and go over that uh, I made a mistake and now I'm definitely learning from it I'm definitely not very happy with how that turned out but I'm just trying to blend it in with the rest of the fish just like that give me more white uh, get rid of that black It is what it is, though. You make mistakes. You're not happy with them, and so you try to fix them. Just make sure it all blends in properly. I'm pretty much just going over this entire area. So I'm going to be redoing a lot of these black lines right here.
All right, have I successfully blended that in? Ah, somewhat, yeah. It's just got kind of like a darker underbelly right here. I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna go and take a sip of, no, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna take a sip of that water. So I'm just gonna go and let it dry. I'm gonna go over a bunch of those uh, black lines again. And uh, I think in the meantime, what I might go ahead and do is go ahead and add uh, some darker sort of splotches and everything like that kind of thing uh, to the uh, background. Since I've got all this gray with me, I'm gonna go and grab some black, just a little bit. I think I grabbed a little bit too much, but that's okay. Just go ahead and give myself a bunch of white. If I waste some paints, it's okay, I've got a bunch. I'm just gonna go mix up like that. It's all globbed onto my uh, brush. And there we go. All right. I'm really liking how these are turning out, though. I ain't gonna lie. I am really liking how those are turning out. I will admit, I think the one line that I added around the fish that I'm not happy with is this line right here, but it's not really bothering me too much. It's not really a terribly big deal, uh, but I'm not the most happy with it, I ain't gonna lie. And so I might just cut off a little bit of it right there and just kind of try to kind of fade it into this um, gray color and everything like that kind of thing. I'm honestly really liking this uh, this sort of idea with the gray, just having like the splotches everywhere that just kind of blend in, but it doesn't quite match. It's kind of like cars that have um, what's it called? How's the lighting for the for the video? Oh, it's still just fine. Um, it's kind of like the cars that have like the the splotchy from uh, what is it like doing body work and stuff like that kind of thing, where it hasn't been primered yet. It's just like Bondo. I actually kind of like how that looks sometimes. I ain't gonna lie, like the whole sort of like half finished sort of look and everything like that kind of thing. I am honestly kind of a fan. I just think it looks so funny. And I'm honestly kind of really liking how it looks with this as well, because it's kind of a semi-similar look, I feel like. And maybe that's what I kind of wanted to do to the, um, to the background right here. Sweet. All right. Those two don't blend in together as well. And I think I'm gonna add one right here as well. And make this one a little bit more distinct.
Yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty happy with how that's turning out. I think I want to add one down here as well. Sweet, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna add one. It's amazing what you can do, and I think it's been about an hour since I started painting. It's amazing what you can do in an hour. I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. There we go. Alrighty. And I think I'm going to try to make this gray a little bit whiter so I can just go over all this. And um, I think I'm done with all the gray I want to do on the uh, on, in the background. I'm pretty happy with uh, that. I ain't going to lie. I think it could, excuse me, I think it could use a little bit more I mean, right here. I'm just going to try to fade that in just a little bit and everything like that kind of thing. There we go. Here as well. Try to fade that in. There we go. Cool, cool. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. All right, sweet. I think that's looking about how I want it to look. Uh, this area, though, I'm going to go ahead and mix in this gray with this white. Make it a little bit lighter. I think I need it to be a little bit lighter than this. Go ahead and add a little bit more white. There we go, that should be about right. And wow, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, the sun is very pretty right now. I might go ahead and turn on the exterior lights for my house in just a moment. Or not my house, the house uh, I'm staying at. Just because it's getting a little bit dark, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be done with this uh, until the, uh, the sun is down. I ain't gonna lie. Just do a little bit more over here. And I'm going to add a little bit to the tail as well.
All right, cool, cool. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty happy with how that's going. I think I've pretty much uh, successfully recovered, and now I've just got to redo the fins once the paint dries a little bit. Uh, so as such, I'm gonna go and take a break. I think I'm gonna go do uh, just something real quick. I'm gonna go and just wash off my brush so I don't let it have wet, wet paint all over it. I'm gonna go and just cover up my paint as well because I'm just gonna take a little bit of break, let my paint dry a little bit, and I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Sweet, sweet. Put that right there. Alrighty. No complaints on my behalf. All right. Well, so far, so good. I said a while back I wanted to smoke. So, uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to have a smoke. It's been, uh, man, a while since I last had a smoke. So, I'm definitely going to have one. Got my ashtray I'll leave out here. So, I'm not ashing all over the place. But yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I've been needing to smoke. But yeah, so far so good. I am pretty happy with it. I think what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and just start going over the black lines, just make it a little bit more bold and everything like that kind of thing. And then after that, I think I'm gonna be officially done with the painting. I think I've added all of the details that I want to add. So as such, I think I'm just about done. Still gotta sign it, but it is what it is. So that's just, I'm just gonna grab the lid right here and just uh, move this plate over a little bit. Put the lid right there. Hey, come here! You don't have to be on video. I just want you to, I just want you to give me your opinion on the painting. So I convinced my brother to come out and give me their it's opinion on the painting. All right, stop right there. All right, what do you think about the painting? Fish. Yeah, it's a fish. You're, you're supposed to shit. Eli, you're supposed to shit on it. Rob Boss looking ass. No, 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 say it looks bad. Come on. I said it looks bad. What? Okay. Come on. This is worse than sewing that I'd find in the deep sea. There we go, there we go. Thank you, all right, get out of here. Get out of here, leave. Thank you for your participation, I appreciate it. As you guys can hear, uh, my family is not supportive of me doing art at all. Uh, definitely not. Snooky They're... says it looks like shit. Hey! My dog isn't supportive of me either. I can't believe this. This really is just so rude, y'all. So rude. My family ain't supportive. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My family, of course, is uh, is very supportive of me doing art. My, my parents uh, both love doing art themselves. And... Uh, and so so does my brother. My brother loves doing art. My my dog not so my family's dog not so much, but um, my whole family loves doing art, so they're very supportive of me doing art. Alrighty though. I think it is now time for me to go ahead and uh, start fixing these black lines a little bit. Just make it a little bit more bold. Go ahead and fix this as well. go per perfect there we go yeah i'm much more happy with that now there we go let's make these a little bit more pokey There we go. Yeah, I'm much more happy with how this is turning out now. Okay, go and 
fix that. Fix that. And where else did I go over with that? Just there a little bit. There a little bit. And try not to put any more black on there so I don't waste any paint. Let's go over this a little bit. Oh yeah, that's all dry. Sweet, sweet. All right, and I think I might actually need to put some more black on here. There's a little glob right there, perfect. Need to do a little bit to the tail as well. Got a little bit of a glob at the top of the paintbrush, so I'm just gonna grab that. Just do a little bit right here, a little bit right here. Come on, glob, do your job, please. Haha, <laughs> that rhymed. Glob, do your job. All right, and then I'm gonna go over this a little bit. Grab a little bit of the glob from the lid. And yeah, this is why I don't do acrylic painting very much. It takes a it takes a, a while for me to do it. That is for sure. But I do really enjoy doing acrylic painting. And and, and I'm like, uh, I do suppose I've forgotten to mention a lot in this video. This is the first time I'm doing acry acrylic painting in a long time. I really should be saying that a lot more for uh, the algorithm. But certainly no complaints on my behalf either way. I am just enjoying doing this right now, honestly. And I certainly hope you guys are enjoying watching. A little bit more black. Alrighty, is there any other areas I want to touch up? Almost done with this. It's still wet. Oh no, I messed up. Scrape that. That's okay though. It can be a little bit. It can be a little bit like that. Just fade out a little bit, kind of thing. There we go. Perfect. Just not not a big deal. And I'm thinking that's it. I don't really see any other areas that I kind of want to touch up or fix or anything like that kind of thing. So. I think that is honestly the painting. I do kind of want to do something with this right here. I'm not super happy with that. I might just uh, I might just leave the tooth be. In all honesty, just go ahead and touch this area. Oh no! And then uh, just go ahead wipe all this off. some of that blend this all in Cool, cool. Well, sweet. All right, yeah, that looks a lot better to me now. So I think I'm gonna go and just put this in here, go ahead and dry it off, go and finish off my smoke, and uh, then I'm all done. No complaints on my behalf, seriously. I am overall very happy with this. Oh, that's an ash and a half. Canood, can y'all believe that? And uh, some ashes going on the painting. I don't care. 
I'm gonna take a look at it from a distance. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I definitely do feel like there's more I could have added or something like that kind of thing, but I think I'm done. I don't really have any ideas for anything else to add, so I think I'm done with this painting. If I feel like there's more I wanna add in the future, I can always uh, go back and add it. But uh, at the moment, I'm feeling pretty happy with this. I ain't gonna lie. I definitely do feel like it just needs more up here. So maybe I am very tempted to just add some black, like sort of like lines or something like that kind of thing. Uh, but I feel like I'm gonna end up not liking those super much, but I might just try it. But first off, I'm gonna go and finish off my cigarette. Dump that in there and go ahead and just start uh, adding some black lines, just uh, fade it into it, just like that kind of thing. Okay, I actually like that a lot more now. I'm glad I did those. All right, sweet. Cool, cool. All right, big bet. All right. I'm going to go and just call it. This painting's done. I'm going to take a look at it from a distance. First off, though, I'm going to go ahead and flip my rag over again. And just go ahead and wipe. Oh, no, I got some... This is still wet on this side. Just go ahead and wipe off my brush. Once again, put that down on the table. And uh, what am I thinking? I'm going to take a look at it from a distance. Yeah, no, I'm pretty happy with this, I ain't gonna lie. I definitely do think there are some spots I could touch up, but I honestly think it just adds personality, so I think I'm gonna leave it as is. Yeah, pretty happy with this. No complaints on my behalf, and uh, I'm gonna leave it as is, I think. I think one thing that's somewhat bothering me is that I kind of want this to be the inside of this to be the lighter color of this, but meh. Yeah. It's minor things. I know I'll wake up tomorrow and I, I will not care. So I'm gonna leave it as is. And uh, yeah, this has been the video of me painting acrylic painting for the first time in three years. It's been a long video, I ain't gonna lie y'all. It's been a long video, but uh, nonetheless, nonetheless, I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching. And uh, I certainly have enjoyed doing this quite a bit. I ain't gonna lie, it's been a lot of fun. Acrylic painting for the first time in three years. Whew, I am very happy with that. Oh man, I'm noticing something. I Ah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna fix it. I'm leaving it. But um, yeah, no, I'm I'm very happy with how this turned out. So uh, no complaints on my behalf. And uh, I think that's. I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. I didn't get any paint on my pants or on my shoes or nothing like that. No complaints on my behalf. That is for sure. But uh, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching me uh, acrylic paint for the first time in uh, three years. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. And go check out my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. box, and my uh, main channel, all in the description down below. Go check it all out, y'all. But uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun doing this. I really have enjoyed uh, doing it. Uh, this piece of art, I ain't gonna lie, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, overall, no complaints on my behalf. You know what I'm saying? No complaints on my behalf at all. I thought I kind of ruined it there for a minute, but honestly, I, I think it just added more personality to the art. Uh, some minor things that I kind of want to fix. I kind of want to add a little bit more right here. I kind of want to make this look a little bit more like I was just doing it across because this kind of looks like it, it, it is actually going like that kind of thing, and that kind of annoys me. Um, but, but it really is just very minor things. But honestly, if you're viewing it as, see, my whole thing is, your biggest, your, your biggest, um, your biggest critic as an artist is always going to be yourself. Uh, and I really don't think any of these things matter to a viewer when I'm looking at a piece of art in, I'm not trying to say this deserves to go into an art museum. It definitely doesn't in my person. And this is just something I did for fun. But, um, if I'm looking at a piece of art in a museum and I see a, a, something that kind of seems off, 
I'm kind of like, you know, maybe that's something they weren't happy with, or maybe it's something they did on purpose. I don't know. But either way, it adds personality to the drawing. When, when a piece of art looks so perfect, it has no personality. And that's my issue with the Mona Lisa. It, a, a great piece of art, don't get me wrong. Very, takes a lot of talent to do. Has no fucking personality at all. And I think art with personality really is the best. And I think that's definitely something I've done in today's video, but certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. As said, of course, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. And I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my uh, main channel all in the description below. Go check it all out. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying?